Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. Now this will be for the 27th of September to the 3rd of October, 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It's not going to suit every person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Um, at the moment, <clears throat> if you notice if my left side of my mouth starts drooling or, or anything weird, um, I'm just joking, I'm not really drooling, but I've um, just had a filling done. So I'm talking out one side of my mouth and kind of lisping a little bit, but just excuse that. Um, all right, let's move on. One more shuffle for Taurus. Taurus for the week of the 27th. Just had those two cards come out with uh, Aquarius. Okay, first of all, um, the thing I see is that you've got a few pentacles um, in your read. So I'm going to say that it's a lot about um, your stability, your material resources for some of you. You've also got a few swords and swords are all about communication, truth and logic. So we will clarify what's on the table but on the bottom yeah more pentacles so it looks like yeah your financial and your material resources there's there's things to do with those um All right, you've got a bit going on too. This keeps happening. Just give me a second. Okay, I want to stop there. All right, so they want me to read this many cards to you. Oh, okay, so we'll start at the beginning. As I said, there's definitely something to do with money here. Um, you want financial security, um, but there's somebody who either is really bad with money, they don't have that, you know, stability. Um, it could mean that. They're not really much of a success. Like... Things are not working out great at the moment for this person and probably for a while. Um, but I feel like this person could either be a player, but because there's so many finance issues, I'm going to say there's something to do with you wanting like material resources. You want the financial stability. And some, somebody just doesn't have much money or doesn't have um the stability like i keep saying whether you want to go back to school or learn something new or get some sort of 
uh, do a seminar or, or something to try to make more money for some of you it could be about that um, like you want to widen your knowledge um, yeah maybe do something different some sort of skilled work that you love that you know you that will make you money but I feel like for you at the moment it's about finances and somebody isn't that great with money or not doesn't have a lot right that's the beginning I feel like You've taken some time by yourself um, and I feel like you kind of had to be a leader in your own life. You had to focus on yourself and focus on what it is exactly that you want for your life for in general with the King of Wands. I feel like, you know, this is somebody who's, who has vision and um is a natural born leader they're very decisive you know and ambitious so once again you know with the finances like i feel like it's all kind of related like you wanting this financial security but at the same time you've also withdrawn from the world for a little while you maybe you're just getting to the point where you're feeling a bit lonely and you know you want to come out of being alone so you're putting yourself out there to maybe date. Now, it could also mean a resurgence of a relationship. Maybe you've forgiven and you've had the end of challenges. Um, but it could also be about you falling in love with somebody new. Now, keep just keep that in mind. And I might keep that bit out because I'm going to remember that in a minute. You've also got the five... Five of Cups in reverse and the Fool. So you're forgiving somebody for something. And I know someone did you wrong because there's the Seven of Swords on the table. So you're forgiving somebody and forgiving yourself more so than them, but you're forgiving yourself and you're, you know, moving on. You've got hope again, but at the same time, you're probably scared to have some sort of new beginning. You know, you definitely holding back you know you're yeah you want to have um you probably want to be a free spirit but at the same time you don't really trust i guess you're probably more scared you're probably more scared to kind of get back out there again more more scared to get back out and date as well i feel like you've definitely had someone communicate with you or you communicated with somebody but you're also overcoming obstacles that because now you've got the faith that everything will be okay. Like, you know, you probably went through a really rough trot, really rough time, and you got through it, you know? Like, yeah, you probably got a few scars, but you know what? You're, you will now be better off with somebody better or, you know, in a better situation or whatever this is. So, you know, here you are having a fresh start. And you probably got some, as I said, some clarity about a situation as well. You got more money. Somebody's not managing their money well. They could have also, um, with the five of pentacles in reverse, like it's also about recovering from some sort of financial loss. So somebody could have caused you financial loss. They could have stole from you. They could have, you know, whatever this was. But I feel like with the other one, it's like somebody's not being charitable and when I talk about money like when I talk about pentacles it could also be like your emotions it could also be your time so maybe somebody is just very either you're giving a lot of yourself with your emotions in your time or you're not it's one or the other the same as money maybe you're overspending or you're not spending and you're being greedy and hoarding all your money one or the other it's you it's that kind of energy um but yeah, you're recovering from that. So if it's about somebody, you're recovering from somebody, you know, leaving you out in the cold. Or, or, or if it's about money, you're recovering from, you know, some sort of financial loss. And maybe now you're focusing on your employment. So either or. There's something you don't want to release, though, with the death card. And this is about you resisting the change. You're needing to get rid of whatever doesn't serve you, you know, because endings bring new beginnings. I feel like there's something you still don't want to release or you haven't released. But did you didn't probably didn't trust your intuition in this situation either with the high priestess, knowing they had secrets. But somebody may want to come back or you are now making the decision to 
move it on, like move on from the past. You're letting it go. You know, you, you realize it's time to head in a new direction. So you're reviewing it with compassion and forgiveness. For some people though, I mean, you got to trust your heart. For some people, you may want to go back there. You may want to reconcile. It's up to you. You know, everybody has a different story. But it could be that you, you either make a final decision or you get some sort of wake-up call or something, you know. But I feel like whatever you're planning on doing, make a plan and then get going. You know, if you need to escape a situation, you know, make a plan and then get going. You know, pay attention to details, red flags, all that kind of stuff as well. Um, but also feel like you didn't trust yourself in the last the one that hurt you i feel like you didn't trust your intuition and maybe now you need to that's what i'm hearing you know this person was doing you wrong they could have had addictions of some kind um it could have just been toxic thinking with the devil card it can be you know whatever we had to get we had to get rid of you, whatever this was for you you had to get rid of this so you could be the best version of you you could be who you're meant to be um so for some of you, it might be a bad habit. For some of you, it's an unhealthy, toxic relationship. For some of you, this person had addictions, drugs, sex, money, alcohol, gambling. You know, maybe someone was codependent. You know, whatever this was for you. Just know that, yeah, they could have had any of that. Um, it could also have felt, somebody felt like they were trapped. Right, now on the table. So these are turning into like huge readings. So... <coughs> You've got the queen of swords in reverse. So somebody was very cold-hearted, deceitful, sly, you know, doing the wrong thing. Um, at the same time, you don't want to release that. You don't want to release somebody who was doing you wrong, you know. You don't want to release this situation. It's making me feel drained. It's probably making you feel drained because it's making me feel drained. Yeah, look probably making you feel drained because that's how it's making me feel um but i feel like whatever this is you're learning you're not learning in reverse you're not learning from this situation once again i mean last time it was all about well i think last time one of the readings it was all about releasing um and cutting the energy so cutting your cords doing that kind of work um and i remember somebody abused me in that reading um i'm not telling you you need to leave if they want to be with you good o all I'm saying is, I'm reading the cards. If you don't like them, find another reader. That's fine. But you don't want to let it go. You don't want to let this person go. You don't want to let the situation go. You know, you want to hold on to something that's either that you possibly are not even with this person anymore or they're not with you. Or, yeah. You're just not wanting to let it go, whether it's cutting cords or whether it's, you know, energetically or whether it's at all. You don't want to let this person go for a lot of you. And maybe it's because you don't want to be alone. But you are going to end it and you are going to spend some time alone. Or someone else is ending it and you need to work on you, transform, work on you, like I keep saying. But somebody, um, yeah, because look, somebody has secrets. And it's causing you anxiety, it's causing you, you know, no sleep, it's all those things. But somebody feels like this was just a burden. I need to say to myself because I keep yawning. Somebody feels like this was a burden. Somebody feels like there was no balance. Um, yeah, that they put in all of the effort in this relationship and someone else didn't. That's how they're feeling. Sorry, I'll just pop you on hold for a minute. Let me just say to myself. Okay, so yeah, as I said, somebody feels like there was just a burden. They feel like the situation was exhausting. They're feeling like they're oppressed. It's too much hard work, and now it's possibly completed. You might have had health problems due to stress as well. For some of you, maybe you're just working too hard and too many hours, and there's no balance between life and, you know, work. Yeah, as I said could be a lack of balance but somebody could have also have been dishonest and they didn't want to take accountability for their actions so now 
you after that you felt like you had you know opposition you felt like there was lack of direction uh, for some of you as well lack of triumph in this case and here we go with the dishonest card the seven of swords you have this card a second ago could also have been a material loss embarrassing secrets make sure you're being honest with you And I feel like you moved on. You were definitely in mental conflict about moving on. You were trying to make a decision. Do I want to move on? But you are going to move on. So in all situations, you're kind of trying to avoid it. But you are with the death card or with that card. You're definitely moving on regardless of, you know. But once again, maybe you just need to cut the cords energetically because you're still holding on to the same energy that's been in, this, in the reeds for months, if not years. Um, you've also got the two of wands in reverse as well. So as I said, you're kind of fearing the unknown. You're impatient. You know, you, you've got inner conflict going on. Okay. Then we have the nine... Of pentacles so it's once again you focusing on your money you're you focusing on being independent you're focusing on being financially independent you're focusing on your material goods you know all those accomplishments and abundance and one more card I feel like this was a lesson you had to learn. You probably didn't have the same values as somebody either. Um, you probably had, didn't live together though, because for a lot of you, because your base chakra is um, not affected. But there is no new beginning with this person, and you've had to take back your own power and you know be a leader in your own life now. You have a new love coming in. Let go of trying to control the situation though. Let it just go with the flow. Let it just flow naturally. But you are going to have a new love. And because I was just thinking, I want to find out the um the outcome for Taurus. And that is the outcome. The outcome is you're gonna have a new love. But you've got to let go of trying to control it and just go with the flow. Because if you come across too controlling, it might, you know, make them run the opposite direction. Be vulnerable. And then you've got serenity on the bottom. You need to love yourself more and look after yourself. Let go of past issues and resentments. Don't let them affect your serenity now. As I said. It's all kind of related. You've got to let this go because there is a new love coming. So let go of the past. Anyway, that is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope that resonates. And if it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.